Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my first impressions of the Vava Chroma. Now, a lot of you have been asking about this video and this is the day that you're gonna actually see what my experience has been with this pre-production version. Now, again, this is not a review, but an early preview of what you could expect from the Vava Chroma that will be released very soon. And the big disclaimer here is that this is not a production ready unit. So there's gonna be things that will be different and maybe there are gonna be some things that are gonna be the same. I'm gonna be providing a lot of feedback on the overall experience, the performance of the unit, and hoping that those features and those new, I would say, asks or even improvements are gonna make it down to the production unit that you're gonna get. Now also, as full disclosure, Vava has not seen this video. Vava has not compensated me for this video. Vava has not influenced the content that's coming through this video. Uh, my objective is really just to take a look at the projector. Now you've seen on the channel that we've looked at a lot of different projectors. You'll see here that I have Epson, LG, Hisense, even the original Vava. I have products from Anchor, for movie, and so on. So we take a look at a lot of different projectors and we also took a look at the very first version when it was uh, just released earlier several years ago. So it's important for me to share with you that Again, none of this stuff has been looked at, reviewed, approved, and my intention is just to share with you what you can expect with the new projector. Now with the release of the Vava Chroma, Vava is also releasing a brand new 120 inch ALR screen. That's the largest screen that they've had to date. We've also reviewed their screens in the past and they've performed really well. But in this initial preview, this first look, I'm gonna be using a brand new screen from Elite Screens. This is the Aeon CLR 123. And this features a Starbright CLR technology. So that's ceiling light rejection material that absorbs 95% of the overhead light and provides 100 times better contrast over white screens. Now, I also have their LED treatment, as you can see here, that makes it even more immersive. Now, many of you are gonna ask, well, why didn't you test this with the Vava screen? Well, I wanted to mix things up. I wanted to see how the projector performed with a third-party screen. I didn't want to go 100% Vava. So that's kind of a little twist to my test. Now, for those of you who are interested in how I have been testing the projector, well, I have to say that I've been testing it just like you would, by watching movies with my family, by playing games on my PS5, by using the Chroma during my morning workouts when I'm doing my Peloton rides. And yeah, I work out to 123 inch screen, which is pretty awesome, right? Now, this is basically using this projector just as you would, right? Uh, so my thoughts, well, I can tell you that I actually love it. My wife and I have been uh, watching a lot of movies and even Nilda has been noticing how deeper the blacks are, how the colors pop, especially with this new technology. Now, one of the things that we'll have to see is how the final version comes out because the final version can actually tip me over because I really love the specs. So let's dive into the specs so I can share with you uh, some of the things that are most notable about the Vava Chroma. Now, one of the things that you'll find about the Vava Chroma is that it is a space saving device. Literally, all you need is 7.2 inches from the wall to be able to have a fantastic image. Matter of fact, you can get up to a 100 inch image just with 7.2 inches. Now, this could go anywhere from 80 all the way up to 150 inches, just like the previous version. And the lumens, it performs the same. And you can see through these shots how we go from daylight with the blinds open, daylight with the blinds closed. You can also see how it looks and performs absolutely fantastic in complete darkness. And that's thanks to the technology as well, that 2,500 lumens. Now, one of the things that sets this projector apart, and this is where you have to think about, is this a worthy upgrade? Uh, and I would kind of, I'm teetering towards the yes here, is the triple laser and also the fact that they're using ALPD 4.0. Now, what this means is that you have three lasers, one laser delivering red, one laser delivering blue, and another laser delivering green. And that's a big upgrade because the older version, the original version that we also have, only had a single laser that was only emitting a blue laser. So what can you expect from the ALDP 3.0 versus the 4? Well, you can expect 30% more power um, and also a better experience. And I tell you, the, the color quality that I've been seeing from a pre-production version is almost as if it were production ready. Now, I do see some things that need to be addressed, but again, it's performing extremely well. 
Now, from a connectivity perspective, you can expect to have the same connectivity that you had with the first Vala. That's three HDMI ports with one of them that's going to support um, ARC. All of them support, you know, the latest version of HDMI 2 above, so you're going to be able to get the great performance and support the higher resolutions. Now, they've also reduced the input lag for those of you who are looking to use this for more gaming, up to 50 milliseconds. Now, I haven't been doing a lot of testing when it comes to really looking at, is it in fact reduced to 50 milliseconds? I haven't been that, um, I would say, clinical or scientific, but I can say that playing with my PlayStation and then comparing it to the original Vava, I can tell the difference on how more responsive this unit is. One of the other things that I'd highlight is that it also has Alexa now built in. So you could use your voice to be able to ask it for the weather and to interact with the projector itself. Also, Android has been updated, but unfortunately it does not include Android TV, which is kind of a bummer for me. But this now has Android 9.0, and with Android 9.0, they now have the ability to have YouTube, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, Disney+, as well as several other applications. But if you, let's say for whatever reason, and this is what I do as well, uh, you want to have a streaming stick? You can have a streaming stick. So all of my testing, while I did some using the onboard operating system and the apps and I was happy with it, all of my experience is really in my uh, Google TV, you know, my Google TV stick. So I was using that for all of my testing and it's been performing well. Now from a memory perspective, the memory has also been increased to three gig. The previous version was two. And now there's something else and I don't know if I love it or I hate it and that's the remote. The remote is now also an air mouse. So as you move the mouse around or the remote around, you see a little pointer that shows up on the screen. That's probably one of the things I hope they have the ability for you to turn it off. I like my remotes, my remotes to be a remote. I don't need it to be a little mouse. Um, I don't have enough applications where I would use the mouse function. So that's one thing that's a little bit different. Now, one of the things that is the same is the fact that you have a 60 watt Harman uh, card and speaker. So that same immersive experience that you were getting from your original Vava, you have it here. But you also have the connectivity options to be able to connect it to your surround sound system, which I also have. So I've tested them with both and they both work fine. Now this one is going to be only available in black. So if those of you who like the white version, you're not going to be able to get that. So it's only available at this time in black. We'll take a first look at the, at the menuing and just the overall screen just for a couple seconds. And let me describe the scenario that we're in. So it's still daylight. It's actually starting to get dark here in Chicago. I have my kitchen um, light behind us is on. So it's, uh, there's a lot of light uh, behind me. And let me bring my hand in here so you can see kind of like how you can see my hand all the way over here. That's the kind of light source that we have. I'm using the new Vava remote and you can see it here. And you can see again, the reflection of the light source. And you can see because it's the air mouse, how it moves when I move. So that's the kind of lighting situation that we're dealing with. You do have a redesigned menu, which I really like. Uh, the one thing that's missing here that I also wish was still present and it may be in the final version is the preview. I really like the fact that if I am using multiple HDMIs that you could see in the old version, at least on the single HDMI, you could see a preview, but I don't see it here. Again, that could be something that could come or maybe not. Uh, you'll notice HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, you have your AV, help, your settings, local applications, application market, and file management. Now we'll go into the application market, and the application market, you'll find that the apps that you wish were present that weren't present in the past are now there, which is pretty cool. So you're going to see immediately that you have Netflix, right? You have Prime Video, you have Disney Plus, you have all of the, uh, again, the applications that you'd like. So I'm just going to choose this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the download. I'm going to go back to the next one. We're going to go back. You can uh, choose Disney if that's what you'd want to. Choose that, install it. And these run fine. Uh, so I've been running them. I actually did a hard reset because I wanted to uh, test some things out again. And you can see how quickly things are downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and install Netflix and you can uh, install that as well. So you see the version of Netflix, you can see um, how many downloads. Uh, I'm probably guilty of creating these many downloads because I've been testing this uh, on and off. But you'll see that you have these uh, videos as well, options, you know, you do have YouTube, HBO Go, and a really good selection of, I would say, uh, of apps, right? Uh, much broader than what you had before. Uh, you also have from a video category, you know, you have things broken down, news, music, sports, etc., and gaming. 
and then uh, you can see the installed apps. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just escape out of this for a second, one more time. And what we'll do is we'll look at local applications. You can see that's what I've installed and I can launch. You see your settings. Let's go in there for a couple seconds. Uh, so what you have starting at the very top is your image. So, and you, one of the things I just want you to see is how fast the projector um, kind of switches menus, even though this is in a final version, that's pretty quick. Uh, you can go into image settings and then this is where you can change your TV mode and you can see at the very bottom that you have several options that you can go through if you're going to be doing gaming or PC. You then also then have the ability to adjust the brightness, contrast, chroma, hue, uh, definition, you know, so you can go in here and you can see, you know, what your sharpness is going to be here. So sharpness of image texture and edges. If I go back and again, this is just like very fast, you can do advanced settings. And you can see here where you can do your motion estimation, dynamic contrast, color temperature, refresh rate, um, and you can also do reset. The, um, in the light source area, you can look at you know, which is your light source. You can choose it as bright, standard, or um, set your preference. And again, basically, um, I'm in a brighter environment. Uh, typically, this room is very well lit. So I have it in, the, in a bright setting, but you can have it in a standard setting or you can just customize it. Um, you can adjust the screen brightness as well or the light source brightness. Um, over here, uh, as we go down, you have your keystone correction and that still has those eight points. You do have the electronic focus and then you also have the projector mode, right? And here you can look at, you know, it's uh, desktop front projection, rear projection, um, uh, frontal projection, hoist, hoisting, right? And then you have also hoisting rear projection. I think these mean that it's ceiling mounted. Anyways, so we'll get out of that. And uh, then what you have is you could do uh, reset, right? So uh, let me go ahead and go back into that settings area again for those of you who want to see more. From an audio perspective, this is what you can expect. You have audio as standard and you can have movie, news, or sports. Uh, you also have output, which could be the speaker or SPDIF or HDMI ARC or even headphone. You notice that this is Bluetooth as well, right? So you can connect this to a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you do audio sync and then you could also do reset. Uh, from a personalization, you have some options here in personalization. You can do screensaver. You can do um, also key tone and then also Alexa, right? So we can go get out of that. When you go into general, this is what you can expect in general. Uh, what do you want your boot and shutdown settings to be, right? Default boot order, uh, shutdown timer, uh, shadow light effect. So there's a little light in the front of the projector. You can enable or disable that, choosing your language, time zones, um, auto switch uh, signal based on source, eye production, having it on or off, and then you can do the reset at the very bottom. Uh, as we go into, oops, let's go back. We'll go to general. And this is what I don't like about air mouse, depending on where it's pointing. When you select, it selects the wrong one. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Yeah, you know, we covered everything. Uh, let's go back and check in about, and then you can get your device info, device name, check for updates, your disk information. So those of you who are curious about disk space, see that right there, any kind of disclaimer, and then also help. Uh, let me just go now into my Google Chrome TV options so you can see uh, some of the HDMI settings that you can set. Now here I have my Google Chrome TV and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the menu and you also have some options here. You could do uh, light source uh, again you can work with the light source model. Let me just click on this and you can see on the bottom where it says bright standard or customized. You can work with the voice patterns right. You can set up your 3D um, you have your HDMI version, right? So you can have 1.4 or 2.0, as we mentioned. You have CEC function. You have HDR, and then you could also do the trapezoid correction. So you can have this set for every HDMI port uh, to, for example, the HDMI version to be appropriate to that specific port. Now, for those of you who are curious about the how loud the projector is, the fan noise, I'm going to basically take my lapel mic uh, that I actually have in my hand right now, and I'm going to put it right next to the projector, the venting area, so that you can get a sense of uh, how loud it is. All right. Um, I can tell you I'm probably about 10 feet 
uh, from the projector where I sit, I, I literally can't hear any noise whatsoever. Now, in addition to video, 3D printers, and a lot of things that we cover in the channel, I do a lot of audio. So what I'm gonna do is just give you a sense of what the audio playback is gonna be like. Um, and again, it's gonna be no different than what you've experienced before. So let me just find something that we'll play from, and then we'll check it out. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking sounds pretty wicked doesn't it <laughs> so that's what the audio sounds like but it's uh, I think it's at par with the previous version when it comes to um, overall audio experience so that's what you can expect you've seen the video playback you've actually seen the audio playback you've gotten a sneak peek to the actual operating system um, pretty excited about this projector now for those of you who are curious about how far the projector is from my screen it's about 13 inches, 12 to 13 inches, and that is from wall to the back of the projector. And yeah, you'll see that there's a little sheet of paper there. I'm kind of jerry reading it because my, my uh, media stand right there uh, is not in great shape. So it's a little crooked, and I had to level it off using a sheet of paper. Uh, I know, probably impacts my credibility, but hey, it works. The image is straight when you take a look at it. So it's on the screen, everything looks good. Uh, you can see how I got the keystone, uh, the trapezoid to align nicely. But again, uh, my failure by not having a, some good furniture there. But again, that's, uh, that's where the projector is. Now, for those of you who are curious, in that corner, you see Valve 1. Right there, you see Epson. You see 4Movie. You see Hisense. Behind that, you see the Vava, uh, Chroma. And there are several others throughout the house that we use in our testing. So guys, that wraps up our preview of the Vava Chroma. Now, I'm gonna have other videos coming, uh, one with the new Vava 120 inch screen, so you can see what that looks like. I'm also gonna have updating videos that are gonna talk about um, the journey, right? Everything that's going through with the actual operating system, things that may change. And I'll continue to give you sneak peeks of the product either on you know, YouTube, it could be on TikTok, so make sure you check us out on TikTok. It could be on Instagram as well, and also on Twitter. So we'll be all over the place giving you some feedback and sharing my experience. So let me know what you thought about the new Valva Chroma. See you in the next video.